The key to all titration calculations is to have a balanced equation before you start. So in this example, we are using hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide. And as it's a neutralization reaction, we will get sodium chloride plus water. And that equation is already balanced. In this method, we're going to be using the formula that you can find at the front of your data book. We have CV over N and CV over N, where C equals the concentration, V equals the volume, and N equals the balancing number from your balanced equation. And you simply have to put in the values that you have. So again, it's a good idea if we'll have a look at the actual information and decide which one, which parts of information belong to which species. So we have hydrochloric acid. We are looking for a volume and we have a concentration. And then on the other side, we have sodium hydroxide. We have a volume and we have a concentration. So you need to pick a side that will be acid and pick a side that will be alkali. I'm going to do acid on the left and alkali on the right. So you simply put in the information that you have. So we had a concentration of 0 0.1 multiplied by V, because we're looking for the volume, divided by the coefficient here, which is 1. And that equals the concentration, which was 0 0.5, multiplied by, and in this case you can leave it as 20, that's fine, divided by the 1. The next step is to rearrange and calculate what you're doing here. So if we have a look at the right hand side, you can see that all three parts are filled in, so we can fully calculate that side there. So that will give us a value of 10. So we have 10 on the right hand side. On the left hand side, we've got 0 0.1 times V divided by one. As it's divided by one, that is just the same as 0 0.1 times V. We now need to rearrange for V. So the easiest way to do that is to just divide each side by 0.1. So that'll give you V equals 10, divided by 0.1. So your final volume of hydrochloric acid will be 100 centimetres cubed. So we're trying another example using the same approach. We need to write out balanced equation. We have potassium hydroxide this time, which is KOH. We have sulfuric acid, H2SO4, to give us K2SO4 plus water, and we need to balance. Balancing is very important for us to be able to get our values correct. So again, we're using CV divided by N equals CV divided by N. Let's have a look at the information. So we have 25 centimetres cubed of a solution of 0.5 moles per litre potassium hydroxide. It's required to neutralise 15 centimetres cubed of sulfuric acid. What is the concentration of the acid? So again, I'm going to put the acid on the left and the alkali on the right. So acid on the left, we are working out concentration, so we can leave that as a C. We are multiplying it by the volume, which was 15. And we're dividing by N, which is the number in front of the sulfuric acid. So in this case, it's 1. On the other side, we'll put the alkali. So we have a concentration of 0 0.5 multiplied by a volume of 25 divided by the number in front, which is 2. Now, when we look to our rearranging and calculation step, again, we've got all three values on this side, so we can fully calculate that out. So that gives us a value of 6.25 when you do that calculation. 
and on this side we have c times 15 divided by 1. So we can ignore the dividing, so we end up with c times 15. To go from here, we are going to divide each side by 15. That gets rid of it on this side, and it allows us to carry out our calculation. So c equals 6.25 divided by 15, which equals 0.42 moles per litre.